hey, let's do a pocket dump. So this is a weekly pocket dump, and this is most of the stuff that I've had with me most of the week. I've worn mostly these two watches. Uh, this is a pretty inexpensive Timex Expedition, and probably the cheapest of the G-Shocks. This is the 5600, and it's the one that works on my little scrawny six and a quarter inch wrist. Both of these are excellent everyday carry watches. Of course, I've had my everyday carry notebook with me. I've made way too many videos on this. <laughs> this is a traveler's company, little passport size. And my multi-tool has been this Tinker Deluxe almost exclusively this week, except when I am working around the house. And it's been, of course, my Swiss Champ. And I've been carrying this Savord, 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 little friction knife. What a great little work knife and really inexpensive. Of course, it doesn't have a locking blade. Doesn't have any kind of a lock on it. It's not even a, uh, not even a slip joint. It's just, it's just there, uh, but it works great. And really, I'm really impressed with this carbon steel that's on this knife. This makes a great work knife for slicing up bags of manure or whatever. It's cheap and, you know, I don't care if I mess it up. Uh, so I'll, you know, thrash it around. And it's a really, really good knife. It's got a convex grind to it uh, that you can just strop and get the edge back really nice. An excellent, excellent little work knife. And a pocket knife that I've carried uh, a lot this week has been my sow belly. I love this knife. This is like my favorite pocket knife now. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I've also been carrying a sod buster. And it's uh, nothing special, just a sod buster. Uh, but I really like it. I like sod busters. That's a really slim, lightweight pocket knife. And in a cheap slip. Uh, ink pens I've been carrying. I've been carrying a couple of uh, Caveco Sports. This one is plastic. This one is brass. And these are the fountain pen versions. And I uh, really like these. And I've also been uh, carrying my Twisby. This is the Twisby Eco. And it's got a built-in converter. Like the whole pen is a cartridge converter. It's got a plunger on it. And you just uh, turn this and it sucks the ink up. Uh, really writes great. That's the smoothest nib of the few fountain pens that I own. This has got the smoothest nib on it right out of the box. I like that. When I'm inside the house, I'm usually carrying this uh, Victorinox Compact and that little night core tube. It's daylight out here. I doubt you can tell that, but uh, that's a handy little thing to have in your uh, pocket. And to light my pipe and cigars, I've been carrying a Zippo. I've got a Zippo pipe lighter insert, uh, another Zippo that's got a pipe lighter in it. Uh, but I like this one. This is great. Been carrying a microfiber cloth. Been carrying this Fire Dog pipe tool, which is your usual pipe tools. It's also a pipe stand. And corn cob. This is the Country Gent, I think. Uh, Missouri Mersham. And uh, cheap, but an excellent smoker. This is a Mr. Bog, which I think they have renamed as Mrs. Bog. <laughs> Uh, these are great affordable pipes. Um, I think they're from Turkey, maybe. I don't know, but I like this one. I've had this one forever. And you can just sit it down. And it'll stay where you put it. And this uh, Seville Freehand, which uh, is one of my favorite pipes. This was my dad's pipe. So I'm still smoking it. Smoking some Cherry Bomb and Eileen's Dream. Ah, this is great stuff. You could almost eat this. It's delicious. <laughs> a hat that I have worn uh, quite a bit is this Gorin Brothers hat. I've had this one for a long time. And I bought this off Village uh, Hat Shop, where I buy most of my hats. And very comfortable. And keeps my bald head from getting burnt. Okay, that's my weekly pocket dump. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.